Gene Mingo electrified the crowd of better than 20,000 with a magnificent 76-yard punt return down the sidelines. An original Bronco, Gene Mingo was a multi-positional weapon who could do it all on the football field. I cared. I wanted to be the best. Returner, kicker, running back, and pioneer. I like to think that uh, being the first black field goal kicker is an inspiration. Mingo's most important role, and a feat he carries with tremendous pride. 1960 to now, how many black field goal kickers have you seen in the NFL? And Mingo splits the uprights for a 10-9 to halftime score. When the civil rights movement was gaining momentum in the early 60s, Mingo was playing a crucial role during the Broncos' formative years. When we went on the field, we were a unit. The color barrier, it didn't show. On fourth down, the old pro, Frank Trapuca, hits Mingo for a touchdown. A couple of plays later, Ken Adamson leads the way. Gene Mingo follows around the left side. Mingo led the AFL in scoring twice and went on to play for five franchises. Mingo moves around the right side, and with McCullough throwing a key block to break him loose, goes 82 yards for a touchdown. To this day, this scamper is the longest scoring run in Broncos history. Denver leads 21 to nothing. Celebrated by the franchise, Mingo was inducted into the team's ring of fame in 2014. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, I appreciate it. Becoming the fourth original Bronco to receive the honor. My deal with kicking field goals, uh, it, it just became a natural thing. Every time I stepped on the football field, I wanted to put on a show for those people that were paying that money. A few plays later, Mingo kicks this field goal from 17 yards away, and Jack Faulkner has won his first game as a head coach. This pioneer still notices a void in the NFL with regards to African-American field goal kickers, but he sees things changing at other positions. Any black football player that can excel in his job, I'm for. You know, um, they used to say that there were no blacks that could be quarterbacks. And now look, there's six or seven black quarterbacks in the league, and they've been playing pretty dead gum good. Phil Milani, Broncos TV.